Uh, hello everybody, this is my Reality Hack Project, De Deep Space Connection. Um, what it turned out to be is a simulation of um, how astronauts might interact with uh, compu their, their spaceship in the future. So, originally, let me just show you our little robot friend here who you can uh, hug and, uh, you know, just generally he is very throwable and interactable because I spent a lot of time on a very accurate physics system that was very, very, very much overkill. Anyway, originally you were able to talk to him with uh, OpenAI and all that sort of stuff. But I'm very much somebody who prefers to uh, run things uh, locally. I like controlling my entire tech stack. Um, and with like all the, the deep seek stuff um, that's been going on like locally, like crashing the entire stock market and everything, I was like, hey, that sounds like exactly the sort of thing I would want to use in a project like this. Because um, there's one thing to have like an AI API wrapper, and it's another thing to uh, run a model locally. Like, I feel like running a model locally is a lot more uh, legit because you can, like, retrain it and stuff and whatnot to, like, fine-tune it. Maybe not on, like, my local desktop, but you could theoretically do it. Anyway, this little buddy is going to tell me. So, what are the most important aspects of a VR-specific game engine? <laughs> And the transcription is using Whisper locally, and then we're using DeepSeek R1, um, the 14B model, to actually think. So you see it, the model's finally loaded, and you can see its thought processes down here. Um, so this is, is, that is not its actual response. This is its thought process. So that is its actual response. Right there. And you can see it's number one is performance optimization, two is latency reduction, room scale VR support. Ooh, R1 is kind of based. Uh, hardware optimization, advanced physics, uh, user experience design tools, scripting systems, um, spatial audio integration. Okay, okay. Th this model's actually kind of spitting, I'm not going to lie. Uh, input system, it's getting small. Input system support. Here, stop bouncing. I'm just going to grab him. So, ah, come back here. Stop bouncing. Input system support. Dang it, it's kind of vibrating in my view. So, uh... Community and, and ecosystem. Yes, I agree. So, there you go. That is a, a local AI model running on inside a very cool environment. Um, and a little bit more legit than just an API wrapper because it is running locally. Yeah. <laughs>